Hello, this is Jill with um, day two of leaving a legacy or making um, a difference. Someone has written, we have made at least a start in discovering the meaning in human life when we plant shade trees under which we know full well we will never sit. The American preacher Henry Ward Beecher said we should so live and labour in our times that what came to us as seed may go to the next generation as blossom. And what came to us as blossom may go to them as fruit. This expresses the true spirit of the love of mankind. We may ask, what will my legacy be? A legacy is something we leave behind to the next generation. Possessions that we place in the hands of others or principles we lived that carry on beyond our lives. Next time you see a big oak tree, remind yourself that it came from a little acorn. Shall we pray? Dear God, our offerings may seem so tiny today, but please bless and magnify our words, our endeavours and your resources and multiply them beyond anything we can imagine. Lord, remind us to be open-handed. We make a living by what we get and we leave a legacy by what we give. Jesus said there is more happiness in giving than in receiving. And in Luke 6, he says, give and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Father, this seems to be the exact opposite of the way the world thinks. Most of the world thinks there's more happiness in just getting. But Jesus does not think like the world. He knows that we are most like him when we are giving and that produces joy. Help us to affirm other people and to remember that there's always a delay between planting seeds of faith, giving to other people in one season and harvesting in another. Thank you, Lord, that you love us, even though we are so very different, yet you enable each of us to experience your love more fully so that it will flow out to others. May your spirit fill us day by day by bringing forth fresh, abundant fruit in our lives and a love that keeps growing. Help us to become richer in knowledge and wisdom, in patience and kindness, and to have a humility that honours others. A love that chooses to look out for the other person's interests, as well as our own, whether we feel like it or not. Father, you are good throughout all generations and you are deeply concerned about the temptations and moral pressures we face today. Give us great wisdom and grace to be good examples in our walk with you and our love for each other. Help us to be worshipful and attentive and eager to learn. Help us with our doubts, our stresses, our trials and our relationships to make our love for you and one another increase and overflow. Please protect our thoughts. Replace those that say we have no influence or that our prayers are not important with the knowledge that our prayers and our faith will make a difference. Father, thank you that we can come to you with the simple confidence of a little child. Great God, thank you that you are constant, unchanging, our great protector. And we pray today for encouragement for release from our inner stresses, for greater love and wisdom in relating to others and for knowing how to handle our own insecurities and anxieties and for open doors. Thank you that you show no personal favouritism. Thank you that you have no regard for any external distinctions, for rich or for poor, for famous or unknown, for high rank or for low for handsome or homely, for any race or culture, but you do have a regard for all of us when we are humble in our own hearts. Thank you for that, Lord. Thank you that the safest place in the world is right in the centre of your will. 